With a month to go before the Republican National Convention, the party's likely presumptive nominee for president is bashing the host city. There's also a question, will Donald Trump be there in person? Former President Trump reportedly called Milwaukee a horrible city today. Political reporter Marianne Ahern with reaction. Next month, politicians will flood Wisconsin's largest city for the 2024 Republican National Convention to nominate Donald Trump for president. But a new report from Jake Sherman of Punchbowl News says former President Donald Trump called Milwaukee, quote, a horrible city while speaking to House Republicans. Donald Trump was talk about things that he thinks are horrible. Uh, the, all of us live through his presidency, so right back at you, buddy. Milwaukee's Mayor Cavalier Johnson wasted no time defending his city. To insult the state that's hosting your convention, I think, is kind of kind of bizarre, actually. It's kind of unhinged uh, in a way. Wisconsin's Republican congressmen are pushing back on the report. Brian Stile writing on social media, I was in the room. President Trump did not say this. And Derek Van Norden says Trump was specifically referring to the crime rate in Milwaukee. City leaders, meanwhile, say they're making progress in decreasing crime and investing in public safety. The Tourism Bureau Visit Milwaukee says it attracts millions of visitors annually. The Bureau also points to a National Geographic spread, including Milwaukee, in its best places in the world in 2023. That was after writer Andrew Nelson fell in love with the city's lakefront, museums, and Midwestern hospitality. So if you haven't been, you may not know how great it is. So I'm really optimistic that all of the newcomers who are visiting Milwaukee this July are going to find out that it's a great, engaging city with the friendliest people you can imagine. Mr. Trump's sentencing for his New York case is July 11th. And if he is not allowed to travel, that is still a big if. But already, according to published reports, the RNC is making contingency plans for him to speak remotely. Marianne Ahern, NBC5 News.